Hey everyone, Creative Venus here, and we have completed 90,000 subscribers. And thank you, everyone. So, let's create this beautiful isometric design dedicated to you. So, first of all, let's insert this circle and remove its outline. After that, you have to click the effects option and change its rotation. And the next step is to duplicate it, create a copy, and increase the depth so that we can get this beautiful 3d effect change the material to metal and let's apply this gradient color and here you can experiment and try different gradient colors as per your creativity so i am trying this um, bluish kind of blue purple kind of uh, gradient color here so you can experiment with your own colors here and I've changed the gradient type to radial so here are a few options I'm trying let's see if this one looks good here I think this one is looking better it's from left to right slightly increase the transparency so let's change the lighting as well okay so let's place it here Let's further shift this gradient slider. Okay. Now let's do one more thing. Let's apply this white color to, to this second shape and place it here and increase the transparency a bit, but I don't think it's looking good. Duplicate it, send to back, apply white color. Let's try to increase transparency. Let's change back to white. Hmm. So I'm just trying to f figure out what looks good here. If transparency is better or the solid will look good here. So I have further duplicated it. I think this is looking nice. And further duplicate it and send to back and further increase the transparency now make sure these are well aligned align center and slightly increase the size so this one uh, shape is ready now now the next step is Let's further change this gradient. I'm not still satisfied with this gradient. I've added some blue here as well, some light blue. Now it is looking much better. So, what shall we do next? All right, let's go to insert and insert a text box and write thanks and change the font so i always try different fonts different font styles and i download the fonts from google fonts it's a free repository of fonts and you can try and test different fonts there so oswald is something that i'm using these days and it is a very nice font now i'm placing the items on the slide and I'm ensuring that everything looks perfect and everything is covering the space nicely and it is a very important part of any PowerPoint slide you have to ensure that slide doesn't look blank from different angles or, or it should not um, I mean it should have proper balance from left to right and top to bottom the slide should look perfectly aligned and all the items are uh, placed equally so that is something which you should always keep in mind while designing any PowerPoint slide so I have placed thanks and below that I'm writing creative winners and it's totally optional you can write some subheading or your own branding here so I've written creative winners here and let's place it here and duplicate it to create a shadow effect 
or reflection you can say send it to back and increase the transparency and now you can see a very 3d kind of effect appearing here so i think we should um, remove the transfer effect from the top layers of these texts and now we have placed the shadow let's remove the transparency from thanks and also from creative venus so now this powerpoint is looking awesome and let's write 92 percent so this is 90 not person 92k the number of subscribers that we have reached and all thanks to you the kind of support you have shown is tremendous great and i'm sure you will keep following and watching my videos and i'm always thankful to you so let's write 92k here so in the text effects apply white color and Make sure it alignment is center. <clears throat> now what else we can do? Let's apply some depth here. So now it has become more 3D. And we have to put the color of the depth to something dark blue. And let's increase the size a bit. So here you can try different things you know you can try to change the angle of the text as well you can try gradient color on the text also so I have duplicated it and send it to back and increase the transparency so that it looks like a shadow effect now apply the bold effect I have changed it to blue but I'm thinking that the gradient color will look good here and but we need to keep it a bit light on the gradient color otherwise it will not look or it, it will not be that much visible on the gradient background now the next step is we have to write subscribers and we will follow the same steps as we have followed for creating thanks and creative winners so it is pretty simple write subscribers increase character spacing change to all caps and apply white color at the end and change the angle using 3d rotation options and place it here And now our slide is almost complete all we need to do is just one last step and that is to create some additional effect that makes it more realistic so we have insert rounded rectangle let's select no fill and apply gradient line and in the gradient line we will keep only two stops and one is fully transparent and on the other stop we have only kept white color let's change its angle and place it here so now our slide design is complete and i hope you like this design and for the animation part i haven't covered the animation in this video because i have already explained it in my previous isometric tutorials and i have explained there uh, animation trick that you can apply here as well and it's a matter of only minutes so now let's see the final result and I've adjusted few colors and I've changed the color for 92k and it is looking more beautiful so thank you everyone for being the part of this wonderful community that we have reached 92,000 subscribers so please subscribe to our channel and like this video also hit the bell icon share your thoughts in the comment section and do not forget to share this video you guys are awesome thank you everyone keep watching my videos have a nice day bye bye peace